So now we gonna do we gonna order a inspire inspire inside highlighter. We create new select part select OK select front plane okay same as as before select rectangle this rectangle for construction select dimension this dimension is 21 height is 40 select ok so this front dimension front plan sketch again select center line make it cross 1 2 3 3 4 cross and select the line 9 this one this one okay so this curve or R must be coincident at this point this one this R coincident to this point coincident this one and this one is equal this one and this one is equal you can do like this actually and this one to this one is vertical this one so now we select right dimension this R is R then okay this one more simple right you can do what you want so select top plane select center line this line is vertical the dimension this line is 66 66 and again select plan first reference second reference select ok select sketch select rectangle this rectangle again become for construction the height is 9.8 the wide is 19.8 so, like so click OK at plan 1 also select sketch select center line do the cross 1 2 3 4 Select this point and press shift. Select this line. Set midpoint. This one also set midpoint. This one midpoint. This one midpoint. So this select line. This line. This R here. R over here. Select OK. Select this curve to this point coincident. This one is the same. Coincident. So it's not symmetry yet. So this one and this one is vertical. This one also means the same. Vertical. So now we adjust to here, become like this. This dimension is R10. This curve and this curve is equal. Now, because this one I want to make sure it's straight and make it straight, don't have profile. So, no need to worry about the profile. We just go to pictures, select law, select this profile, and select this profile. You see, when it's become like this, we just this point put back here make sure this one and this point is parallel select ok so then we select pillar the pillar is 3 select this edge select ok now we finish already for in spine spun inch spun in now we can model tips highlighter 
select new, select part, select OK, go to front plan, select sketch, select circle, this circle, the diameter is 5 mm. 5 mm. And we add stroke boss 33 enter. So it becomes cylinder. So we go from top view, select top plan, select sketch. We gonna cut this and this. The angle is 30 degree. Okay. So let's stroke cut. Uh, True all both. So come like this. Oh. Select OK. Like that. So this plan, select this plan, select sketch. We need to create new line. This line is meant for new plan. So we can cut the profile. It looks like a uh, tip from highlighter. So this line. Okay. Okay. So select reference geometry. Select plan. First reference is this line. Second reference is this one. Select okay. So this plan one. Plan one select sketch. So a bit confused if you do like this. So what you need to do is select this line. This line convert convert entity. So this pen we can normal. Uh, we just click this normal to this pen. So by my right, if you we see from top, the normal is look like this. Yes, this view that we need. Again, select this pen. Right click it. Uh, normal to so we have like this. This line we make for construction we also need to create center line construction new construction put one here put one here so make sure it horizontal it horizontal horizontal so this one is for construction okay so now we do like this 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 Sorry. Okay, this one we delete first. Just like this. One, two. And I want to create one more center line here to make sure it vertically. Vertical. Between these two points. So this distance is 5 mm. And the distance between these two lines is 1 mm. Oh, we can see here this one is not symmetrical. So I take one more line, select this, create one more, like this. Okay, still not symmetrical. No worry. I take center line, select the center, select this line center. So make sure. Symmetry, just make sure this line is horizontal. See, fully defined already. So, I want to actually cut this part, I mean, this part, this part, and this part. So, I just create new line here, just like that. So, what I'm gonna do is extra cut this profile. As you cut, screw all, just screw all, select OK. Yes, now we have this kind of profile. So I'm gonna to hide this line and this plan. So go to fillet, fillet is for to be 0 0.7. 1, 2, 0 0.7. Enough. See, slow line, highlighter. See? Highlight. 
So, finish all the component already. Let's go to assembly this component. Okay, now we recall back the part that we already dropped first, the body. This the body. Second, the coin. This is the coin. And the cat. This is the cat that we do. And the sponge in. This the sponge in. Another one is tips highlighter. This tip highlighter. So now we're going to do assembly this all part together. Click assembly, click OK. So first, we take this body part away. So, and this body part we cannot move because it fits. To unlock this face, we must be it. Float. So now we can move this body. So, to make this part into origin, select make, select origin, open this little arrow over here, the tree. Uh, we see this origin for body. Click there and select OK. Now this body we can we can say that it fits to origin. So we fix that. So this one cannot move already. So insert component, sponge in, the sponge in inside the body. So this sponge in, we make this back to here, back here. So now they made already, but still can move. Don't worry. We open this tree and we go to top bank. Top bank for sponge in. Select top plan and select top plan for assembly. Okay. Now we do also for right plan, right plan for assembly and right plan for sponge in. Okay. Now we can see the sponge in inside the body. Highlight. We must see how it fit. How it sit inside the body. See, no problem at all. Tap a cat. See here, not touching. Very good. Okay. How about from side? Yes, they got cat. No touching. This one, I just hide first. Here, also got cat. Okay, center for this one. Then we take this one also cannot move. Already. Then we take insert component, take the coin. This coin. This coin we make to this body. Select this face for face, body face, and this coin surface. Okay. Sponge for coin. We open, select top plan, top plan for assembly. Now it is called, called coincident, called collinear weight top plan for assembly. This one. So right plan also do the same. Right plan with the right plan. Okay. You see now, cross section have like this all is fit inside okay now we close we insert component for tips this tip this tip we make circle to circle okay but it's taken move like this it's taken move it's taken move so lock the moving is we just section view first select ok select me select this surface select this surface select ok select ok but these tips they can rotate because we not lock them 
now I want to lock this position so to do so uh, we need to go to mid again select this tip, this arrow click there select top plan for tips and select assembly top plan now it's locked already it fits already it cannot move this so now we do for cap is a component set cap this cap also say need this surface to this surface okay sorry but you still can move it so now to lock it again select me select assembly right plane this stick we close this cap also right plane okay top line for cap wait top line for assembly okay okay now you see all is fit now you see how it's tight oh this is the hook really this touching i think it should be okay like this so just left like that leave it leave it like this so now i want to do coloring so this color should be green maybe first this body i want to green color this go to edit appearance select appearance select solid i want what color green color select green maybe this green oh okay, nice nice okay, just save it okay now become cream maybe. so this cap is gonna be black black color oh cannot open cap okay. this one set edit appearance plastic no i don't like plastic just go to solid color go to white want to have this color okay so let's see this one also black color go to here select solid go to white first select this color okay now the inside the inside we must cross section first this one become green oh. select appearance select solid color to green or oh, green this green okay save it and this this highlight tips also green color edit appearance select solid select white first go to green okay now we finish already this is the highlight you can follow this tutorial to do this amazing model highlight so we gonna do explode view I set the cap how we open this highlight like this right I open the cap okay so now I want to open this two this tip and this one like that okay this tip maybe I want to move it a bit longer this body I want to go back like that so maybe this one I need to move front bit like that so okay i go to configuration select the hook set expert view close explode view assembly view explode view assembly view so i just animate like that okay that's all from me. Thank you for watching.